23 ABC Sports Desk is sponsored by Motor City Buick GMC. Welcome back. I'm Carrie Osep. High school sports are in the home stretch this week with baseball and softball teams looking to close out this athletic season with SoCal Regional playoffs. Today, three teams were in play with two of them hosting in town, and I can still feel the sweat dripping down my back. Let's get to the action in Division 5 baseball. Number 4 BCHS hosting number 5 Lancaster, bottom of the first. J.D. Fritch with this single. He's going to get himself on base, and we know the Eagles like to see that. Noah Granella to short a little bit later, but look at this. It's overthrown and some patience here. You would say get to third, but hey, how about come all the way down to home plate for the first score of the game? It's one nothing BCHS. A little later, Evan Cloud is on the plate. Lines one to left. Ball finds the gap. That's time for another run to score. Let's bring it in. Two nothing lead for the Eagles here with the slide there. Caleb Paul was getting the start on the mound for the Eagles today, but Lancaster would take a 6-4 lead and has that heading into the bottom of the six. Well, in Division 4 softball, number three Highland hosting number six Smith Tech. Some hot days and those pops look pretty good. I love those things. They're popsicles. I needed one today. I can tell you that. 18 nothing in the second. So not only was the weather hot, so were the Highland bats today. That was Mariah Montoya who singles up the middle for the two RBI. It's 20 nothing Highland. And not much later with two on Sadie Salas at the plate rips this one and just wait for it. It goes yard. Three more runs would score as Highland holds a 24-0 lead after the second inning. The Scots would win this one 27 to nothing. Every player had a hit and seven had multiple RBIs as they move on to the semis on Thursday. Well, now three of these teams plus Liberty have more titles to chase and Liberty was up at Jacera Catholic, but they would go on to lose 10 to nothing. And in Division four, we're still waiting for the Ridgeview Wolfpack. They had a first round bye, so they'll start in the semis on Thursday. Well, the Baseball Hall of Fame is returning to full capacity for this year's induction ceremony. It's scheduled for September 8th on the grounds of the Clark Sports Center in Cooperstown, New York, after being postponed last year. The 2020 Baseball Hall of Fame class is headlined by New York Yankees shortstop Jarek Jeter. Marvin Miller, Larry Walker, and Ted Simmons will also be inducted. Well, Raiders defensive lineman Carl Nassib made all types of headlines yesterday using his voice and his story in hopes of inspiring others a part of the LGBTQ plus community to feel more comfortable to do the same. Well, his impact is already being felt. After receiving support throughout the NFL, including his own team in Las Vegas, Carl Nassib's $100,000 donation to the Trevor Project also made a difference. There were reported 50% up in donations and 350% uptick in site visitors for the suicide prevention service. And he said that you could, quote, be the person who saves a life. Well, Keely, if I had to say, I think that this guy is doing just that. And I think he can definitely say after sharing his message, he's probably going to save a lot of lives. So uh, yeah. again, we're still feeling his impact from doing that yesterday and obviously a lot of talk on social media and the NFL as well. Definitely very cool. And um, like you said, it's amazing the impact one person can have, positive impact. Got to remember that. For sure. Yeah. Yep.